Okay, Ken, so I decided to throw you a little surprise party. Here's all your little snacks and stuff. We got donuts, pie, coffee, drinks, some cake and stuff, you know, because you are such a hard-working producer. And also, since you fired me, I want to say I'm sorry and can I get my job back? If you do your job correctly this time. Thank you. You won't regret it. Now let's get this party popping. Yes. Oh, yes. Oops, oops, oops. Yes, 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 yes. Rocket honey boo. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Peanut butter and jelly, 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 PNG, 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 wait, no, BJ, J, 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 J. What's going on here? Oh, and who was there? None other than the girl who I just had a fight with yesterday, slash the girl that Grace wants a little piece of. Who are you looking at, Denise? Obviously, I'm looking at you. I'm not scared of you, freaky. Whatever, girl, bye. No one's talking to you. Um, who's this? Um, hello, my name is Grace. Who are you? My name is Frankie Stein, Ken's new girlfriend. So, you mean to tell me that this was the girl who Denise had a fight with, and this is the girl who says that she's the toughest girl on Love & Hip Hop Barbie's house? She looks like a little daffodil to me. I gotta have a little talk with her, cause obviously if she thinks that she's the toughest girl on here, she obviously didn't meet me. Oh, so, oh, let me keep a G, I gotta keep a G real quick, um, I gotta talk to you. Um, okay, like, what's the problem? Um, so that's what we about to get to. So, what's up with you talking about some you the toughest girl on Love and Hip Hop Barbie Town, like, I really think that's not true because obviously that means that you didn't meet me. No, that means obviously you didn't meet me, idiot. You see, obviously she didn't know who she was talking to, but I had to put her in her place. I feel like all these girls are coming at me and all of them are just haters. Now it's go time at this point. You can get out my face. Frankie, get out my face, and by the way, I don't know who you think you're talking to. Get out my face, and put your hands down before I have to put my hands on you. Get out my face, Frankie. Get out my face. Get out my face. Ugh. She pushed me on the floor? Now is definitely go time. Get out my face, Ken. Get her out my face. Girl, you are so lucky. Ugh. To show her, Ken. Shut up. Shut up. Have y'all seen my wig? Where my wig at? Cause I can't find my wig. You won't run up to Denise when all Denise said was just ooh. But then when I was disrespecting you, you didn't want to say anything. That shows how you're weak sauce. That shows that I'm the toughest on this show. And now I just want to beat you up anyway. I was the one disrespecting you. I bet you won't run up to me like that. Grace, I don't even know you and you're trying to have beef with me. Like, what's going on? What's going on is that I don't like that you're calling yourself the toughest. I'm the toughest. Man, I'm so sick and tired of this right now. Do something in. She told me to do something, so I did something. I blacked out. You're hungry. That's probably why you're so grumpy. Yo, you better not either. <laughs> now it's about to go down.
right to the beat going. needs to calm down like seriously there are fights going on every day around me now and it's stressing me out right now it's just mayhem and this is supposed to be like a surprise party for me all of the snacks and stuff are all over the floor also Denise's wig is on the floor and also Grace She's covered in cake, and she looks like Frosty the Snowman right now. But we could all admit that's pretty funny though. But this is just way too much stuff going on right now. These girls need to clean up their act. Or else, people's contracts will be released, people will be getting fired, and someone's going to be being broken up with. And that's final. I got to go home and take a shower and also not to mention my heel broke off too. This place is a mess now like we tore this place up. And by the way Grace you need to fix your music you sound like a cat giving birth. Shut up you're still talking. And by the way N um, Denise you need to try to grow your real hair instead of wearing wigs all the time because that's not working for you, honey boo boo. Shut up, freaking elf looking idiot. Well, today I am meeting up with Barbie to talk about this whole thing that she said that she saw yesterday. Hey girl. Hey Barbie, we got to talk about this, what's going on. Alright, alright. Just helping a friend. Well... Well, I don't know if you want to call me a friend or not because at the end of the day, your friend Grace doesn't like me and I don't know if she wants you calling me that. Oh, well, we're cool. Yeah, I'll just say that. Alright, alright. Even though me and Nikki aren't cool, well, aren't friends, it doesn't really matter. I'm just telling her how her man is cheating on her because at the end of the day, if my man was cheating on me, I would want someone to tell me to. So I feel like I'm doing the right thing. So what did you see? So basically I just saw Halene and Trey just talking to each other. And that was when like Halene jumped on him. And that's when they just both started kissing. And I'm like whoa 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 wait a minute. Trey's supposed to be going out with Nikki. And they're supposed to be having a baby with each other. Like what's going on? Alright honestly Barbie I'm so happy that you told me this. Like, I'm trying my hardest not to get emotional right now, but, like, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Yeah, but thank you so much. Um, I'll give you a gift card to um, Target. Oh, you don't have to do that. No, it's alright. It's my honor. I'm just about to go home, clean out my closet with his stuff, throw his stuff out the window, and I'll have a little talk with Halloween, too. But thanks, Barbie. Alright, alright. Whoa. Now. That's what you call drama. The next day. Well, I felt really bad about all the drama and all that crazy stuff that happened yesterday. So I came over to Ken's little um, studio so then I could apologize and stuff to him. Who is it? You know it's me. Open the door. Come in. Hey. Hey. You're not coming here to mess up my stuff, are you? Come on, Ken. Don't be like that. Well, let me sit down. I just want to say that, like, I'm sorry about all the stuff that went on. Like, that wasn't me right there. And, like, honestly, I just want this relationship to happen between me and you like I really want to be in your in this relationship with you and like I promise well I can't really promise but the thing is that like 
I'm going to try my best not to be in any drama over you. But the thing is that you got to realize, it is a whole bunch of girls that doesn't like this thing going on between me and you. I understand that. But the thing is that we got to keep this professional. I get that. I get that. And that's what I'm agreeing to. I'm just like, can you forgive me? I forgive you. But just try not to let any of this happen again. Like, do you know how much stuff I have to clean up? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And also, I gotta talk to you about something. What? I want to meet your family. Whoa, are you kidding? What? Well, if you're not ready for me to meet your whole family, then I won't. But, like, can I at least meet your sister, Jessica? Um, I don't know if I should let you meet Jessica or anyone in my family. Why? Like, Jessica is like a big supermodel and stuff like that. I want to at least get to meet her. Thing is, like, I just don't think that it will be a good idea. At least not yet, alright? Why? Look, Frankie, don't rush it, okay? It's a reason for everything, alright? Okay, alright, I get it, but see you later. Alright, bye. Bye. I was not expecting Jessica to want to meet my family, especially this quick. But I said no for a reason. The thing is, my my whole family still loves loves my relationship with Barbie. And they don't really know that me and Barbie aren't together right now and that I moved on from Barbie. Thing is, everyone in my family wants me to be with Barbie. They all love Barbie. So I don't know how their reaction would be if they, if I told them that me and Barbie are completely done and that I'm dating another girl. But yeah, that's all. Ken must be so delusional if he thinks that I'm going to really not meet his family. Even if I have to do it behind his back, I'm going to at least get to talk to his sister. Like, what could go wrong?